On behalf of BizTimes Media, Marquette University's Center for Real Estate, and Car W, welcome to the 11th Annual Commercial Real Estate and Development Conference. As you all know, Milwaukee's skyline will be changing in the next several years. In a moment, we're going to invite our panel of four of the region's top architects who are going to share with us how they are, quote, designing Milwaukee. Well, I can tell you that about 80% of uh, our members surveyed felt that the market's been improving this year. In my opinion, I think we'll see more development in the next five years than we've seen in the last 15 years in Milwaukee. Things are looking up. Uh, we've suffered through several years of difficult times. We're all encouraged. I think there's a better feel in the marketplace. Now, the, the, the theme today is designing Milwaukee. And I, I'm looking at this from two aspects. First is, is some of the latest trends from the uh, uh, architectural designs, call it the skyline piece of things. And then the second thing is to begin to talk about the interior spaces, how we interact with our built environment. I think it's really rather important how that is changing from, let's say, the inside out. When we start looking at the four architects that we have joining us today, uh, their fingerprint or maybe even footprint um, it, it has dramatically impacted the way we uh, live, work and play here in, in Milwaukee. We solved the whole notion of pedestrians and vehicles by building fences, but um, really that's, uh, that can't be the answer. We have layers upon layers of, of fences between our, our city and our lakefront. These fences have been here long enough and they're beginning to rust through and we've spent hundreds of millions of dollars on our lakefront and our assets, and this just sim simply can't be the answer to having the pedestrians and vehicles coexist because they have to coexist. And the entire idea of the Gateway Plan is to provide barrier-free access from our business area where we work, live, um, to our lakefront where we play. Architects. Uh, so who are we really? In my humble opinion, uh, we are certainly a diverse bunch uh, but I like to view architects as uh, partners and as stewards of project visions uh, focused on people, relationships, uh, and creating designs that engage and inspire people. We definitely try to understand the economics of a project in order to creatively tailor designs to benefit all aspects of that project, uh, whether it be aesthetically, functionally, economically, and really what we are are problem solvers and innovators. And it goes to another trend that we're seeing, and I, I don't think it's news to anybody, the, the kind of uh, flexibility that tenants are looking for, uh, if they're looking at your space or you're doing a build a suit for them, that kind of untethered worker. You know, technology has really challenged us about what a traditional workplace really is. Keep an eye out for those demographic changes that make people work differently. Uh, look at how technology affects your product. Um, be thoughtful about the integration of brand that everybody's looking for and always, always partner with an architect that can help differentiate you in terms of design and I think you're going to win every time. The development becomes more than just a place surrounded by its own property lines. That the ripple effects that, that can happen with a project go far outside its own boundaries. And that you have the ability now with any development project to make the city a better place. And we think that the future of the city is its livability. Where you come to the sidewalk, where you interact with the buildings, where is the public space. And it takes a kind of a collaboration and a vision on part of the, uh, the developer to see outside of its own property lines. I'd like to thank our major sponsors, White Hirschbeck Dudek and Town Bank, and supporting sponsors, Leopardo Construction, Acoustic Supply, and Innovative Signs. And on behalf of BizTimes, Marquette University, and CARW, thanks for coming, and we'll see you next year. Have a great day.